Hello guys, how are you? And I hope you all are very fine. So today in this video, we shall discuss about the new hiring opportunity which Talent Battle has brings you. So today in this video, we will be discussing about Gap hiring. Yes, so Gap is hiring for software engineers. So let us check this out. What is this hiring all about and what are the education qualification demanded and other eligibility criteria followed by we will also do a registration uh, like a demo registration which will be helping you to uh, register it and let us check this out so watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of important update so let's get into this video so usually you get the link in the description box so same way today you also you will be getting the link in the description box you can uh, check that out so as soon as you click on that link you will be landed to talent battles official website where we have highlighted this opportunity so as you can see, it is software engineer, graduate engineer, trainee at Gap. So Gap is a very big brand. Let's check out some of this, uh, like what is this role? So Gap Technology Center is the largest apparel retail uh, technology center in Hyderabad, India. So you might have listened about Gap clothing. So they have their uh, like a big, uh, they lie in the big brands in the term of clothing. So we are focused on building next generation solutions that will transform the way customers interact with our family of iconic brands gap banana republic old navy and athleta uh, commencing operations in 2017 our technology center is responsible for leading and transforming the it sphere of the company by creating and driving capabilities across digital technology data sciences marketing and automation so yes uh, so they have built up their uh, technology center and they are now uh, getting into the technology field as well so as you uh, will be the part of this company, you have to partner with the team on technical aspects, including development, maintenance and support product requirements, understand business processes, implications, underlying critical applications, learn and develop solutions, work on key technologies and plat uh, platforms, including Java, J2E, uh, cloud, big data, Hadoop, data warehouse and other technologies. So these are the some roles and responsibilities and job role is, as I mentioned earlier, it is graduate engineer trainee and this is a work from office job. So you have to be relocated to Hyderabad uh, for working in this company. So let's check out uh, like the eligibility criteria. Yes. So you must have BTEC or BE degree in computer science and engineering, information technology, electronics and communication engineering. Excellent analytical and problem solving skills must be there. High learning agility, interesting, uh, uh, interested in learning more. Excellent communication, listen attentively, seek to understand opinions from others and share ideas in a helpful and timely manner. Willingness to innovate, adapt and make changes and try technologies as per the business needs and embrace diversity and respect from others. So these are some key eligibility criteria which you must satisfy it for uh, getting into this company. So let us now check out the uh, like the application process. So you have to click here on the apply button. As soon as you click on this apply button, you will be landed to GAP's official website where they have uh, mentioned this opportunity. So it's mentioned here in bold letters. This is software engineer, graduate engineer trainee. Okay. So let's check this out. The same uh, type of content is mentioned here as well. You can read it from tip to toe uh, to better know about this company and then you can apply. But in this video, we will just uh, click on apply button and uh, we'll skip this part. So here we will click here on apply button. So let's click here. Yes. So as soon as you click on this apply button, you have to start your application. So there are three to three to four options. You can choose any of these options, whichever you feel comfortable with. So once we'll go with apply manually so that I can tell you each and everything which you must uh, gather before filling this form. So yes, I have clicked on apply manually and uh, here is some ad of a uh, gap. So yes, my information. So first of all, the first question up here is how did you hear about us? So there is a drop down menu as well. So you can just select from any of this. So we'll uh, select job board. Okay. So any of the job board you can just mention here. There are so many options. Okay. So you can mention any of the option. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हैव यू एवर वर्क इन गैप एज अ फुल टाइम पार्ट टाइम और एनी सीजनल लाइक हैव यू डन एनी काइंड ऑफ इंटर्नशिप हेयर सो यू कैन फील येस और अदरवाइज यू कैन फील नो कंट्री नेम इट्स इंडिया देन इज योर लीगल नेम सो इन द गिवन नेम यू हैव टू मैंशन योर फर्स्ट नेम एंड इन द फैमिली नेम यू हैव टू मैंशन योर सर नेम ओके एंड इफ यू हैव एनी निक नेम्स यू कैन जस्ट गो विद दैट अदरवाइज यू कैन लीव दिस दिस इज कम्प्लीटली ऑप्शनल next is filling your address so here you have to fill your address there are three lines left for the addresses and then city postal code and state then your email address will come whichever you have uh, tried for the login purpose that will uh, occur here okay next is your phone number phone device type you can just select from here home mobile or work so it is a mobile number you can just select the mobile and fill your mobile number here okay so this was the first form this was very general form okay so now uh, i shall fill all the details and then we'll move to the save and continue and i'll show you uh, what is there in the second part of the form yes so here in the second part of the form we have uh, major options like work experience education certifications languages and skills and lastly we have to upload our resume here okay and here also there is one more option you can add your linkedin profile as well you have to share your linkedin url here okay so uh, if you have any work experience you can click on this add button to add your work experience like as you can see here the job title company location if you are currently working here you can just check uh, check here and otherwise you can just mention from or to date and you have to mention your role description moving towards the education part and you have to click here on add button once again so here you have to mention your school or university basically your college name you have to mention here next is your degree whichever degree you are pursuing you can just mention from here there are so many options here in the drop down menu okay but you must be from be btech in uh, computer science or it branch okay next is field of study here you can you have to mention your branch okay so there are number of branches you can just uh, search from here in the drop down drop down menu or whenever you start writing there they will come okay so you can see when i am starting writing i will click on enter button so the options will get uh, sorted themselves so computer information and information technology like this next is you have to mention your overall grade overall gp you have to mention and again from or to so here it is actual or expected you can mention both so this is for basically 2024 batch students so 2024 batch students can fill this opportunity next is certification so you have to click on add button once again okay if you have any kind of valid certifications you can mention here okay like certification what kind of certification is this there are again number of options in the drop down menu okay and next is your certification number you can mention your certification id number issue date and expiration date and you can just attachment like you can just upload your certification here from drop down menu okay next moving towards the languages here is the language portion like the languages which ever you know you have to, you know how to speak write okay so you can just mention here okay so you can select from this drop down menu there are number of options okay whenever you'll start writing once again like english okay so english will be highlighted here okay so you can just select that okay if you are fluent so i am fluent in this english you can just click here okay next is comprehension overall here just you have to mark yourself in the english okay and if you want to add another languages you can just click here to add another even your uh, like native languages you will also find here okay hindi or any native language you will mean uh, like when you will start uh, searching you will find out here okay so you can fill that as well next comes a very important part this is a skill set yes you have to mention your skills mention as many as skills you have okay because this will be the part that will be making you stand out from that crowd okay this will be the part that will be major like company will be majorly looking on this is the these both of the questions skills and resume yes this must be having good hold so that your candidature is taken forward and you are selected uh, like you are shortlisted for their process to so fill as many as details invest some time on yourself to just check out whatever skill set you have try to mention each and every minor to major uh, like skills you have in yourself okay because this will be uh, counted as an additional advantage okay so fill this uh, thing very nicely okay so you can uh, let me just tell you one skill okay 
let us check like communication skills okay so you just have to write and click enter okay and it will be added next is coding okay coding so c coding will also come and enter then is c plus plus okay so you have good hand in c plus plus you can just mention c plus plus like this so keep mentioning all your skill set whichever you have and at last you have to mention your resume okay you have to upload your resume over here next is uh, if you have any websites you can just add otherwise you can leave this option and linkedin profile it is completely option whether you want to mention or not but it is good to mention okay like if the recruiter is not having uh, so much time to go through your resume it can just click he can he or she can just click here on your linkedin profile and visit your linkedin because it carries the same information okay so if your linkedin profile is updated so you must uh, mention your linkedin profile so this was the major form i'll just fill this form and i'll show you what is in the second form there will be some additional questions i'll just show you that okay so i'll just fill all the details and we'll move to the next part then yes so now in this third part of the uh, form we have been asked are you legally authorized to work in the country whichever you are applying so you have to fill a yes here will you require sponsorship to continue or extend your current work authorization status so if any sponsorship you require from this company okay so you can mention yes otherwise you can fill no okay so let's uh, save and continue to the next form part so these are some voluntary disclosures uh, you can just fill your gender here okay next is your primary nationality so you can just find out your nationality most probably it's indian so you can just uh, uh, select one okay or you can just write here so you will be finding indian yes next is uh, okay indian sometimes your uh, sort menu will not work so please uh, check it very nicely yes india so yes i have mentioned next is your terms and condition read the terms and condition very nicely okay and then give your consent here so just tick uh, on this uh, check box yes i have read the consent and terms and condition next click on save and continue so here they will just uh, save your all the details and show you okay like if any detail you want to edit so you can just go back and edit and this is a very important part so please check out your phone number your email address because these are the primary contacts which they will be connecting with you okay by which they will be communicating you the next procedure so last you have to just click on the submit and that's all so this was all in this form so wait for a few seconds yes a congratulations uh, page has been there okay so a congratulation page has come so it means your profile is taken now okay now you just have to wait for their further communication and all the type of further communication like shortlisting of resume or basically your first test this type of uh, information generally comes on your email ids okay so keep uh, checking your inbox so that you do not miss any kind of communication from their side and we wish you all the best for this company hiring hope you all will get selected uh, and if you have any kind of doubts or queries whether related to this company or any other placement opportunity or other placement strategy please visit to our channel or comment down below our mentors will be happy to help you out and if you want to have a personal guidance a one on one session with us kindly comment down below on this video or reach out to us on our social media handles like what this was all about in today's video wish you all the very best and uh, subscribe to this youtube channel for latest updates thank you